Welcome to this presentation of multi-factor authentication using email and SMS in Enterprise Random Password Manager, also known as ERPM. In today's presentation, we're going to compare hardware tokens, software tokens, and virtual tokens. We're going to explain how virtual tokens can be used to deliver multi-factor authentication via both SMS and email. Finally, we'll conclude with a demonstration of the configuration and use of virtual tokens to provide the delivery of token codes when a user logs on to ERPM. Hardware tokens are considered the gold standard of multi-factor authentication. They're very secure, come from a variety of different manufacturers including RSA Secure ID, as well as those delivered by others in OATH format. The security of these tokens depends on the supply chain management of both the seeds and the tokens themselves. With regard to the actual storage of the seeds as well as the hardware, there are certification standards such as EAL 5 Plus that guarantee to the greatest degree possible that the seeds themselves once placed into the tokens cannot be retrieved nor can the tokens be compromised. But there are logistics of the management of these tokens. These include both the purchase, distribution, and replacement of defective or lost tokens. And the tokens can be costly. The cost of tokens varies greatly from one manufacturer to another based on both the form factor as well as the lifetime of the tokens themselves. Software tokens compared to hardware tokens have a lot going for them. First, there's nothing physical to manage. They're inexpensive or in fact even can be free. But the challenges of these types of tokens are the fact that seed distribution and security are significant issues. The one question a person has to ask about the use of a software token is, are the seeds within that token actually secure? With virtual tokens, we don't distribute software, nor do we distribute a physical device. The logon sequence will generate an SMS or an email token code that will come directly to the user's device. This solution is very secure and also very simple to deploy. The management of the seeds and the tokens is in fact done at the server itself. When a user logs on, the token for that particular user is brought up virtually within the application itself, namely ERPM. The token code is generated according to the OATH standard using a SHA-1 algorithm and generates a token code that's either eight or six digits long. The code is then sent off to the user who is logging on. This particular code is a one-time use only and it cannot be replayed. The code itself also expires in a short period of time, generally 15 minutes. The beautiful thing about this architecture is that we already know when a user logs on what their email address is as well as potentially what their pager address is based on the SMTP address that may be in the pager attribute of that specific user. So the net effect of this is that a user receives an accurate and secure token code at the moment of logon without having to worry about the management of either a software or a hardware token. Turning on virtual token handling within ERPM is pretty simple. By default, ERPM normally doesn't generate tokens automatically. It expects you to provide seed files for the physical tokens you're using or generate soft token seed files and then assign those to devices such as your mobile devices. In order to get the behavior of automatic generation of virtual tokens, you need to change the default token options within ERPM. The changes involve switching over to creation automatically of time-based tokens that are delivered by email or SMS. You'll also need to make some changes to the way that users and the website is handled. In the case of users, you'll need to modify users and or the groups that they belong to so that they require OATH authentication. The second change has to do with the web instances themselves. All web instances have to be enabled for OATH authentication. Once you've configured token management, the websites, as well as users and groups to use OATH authentication in this manner, what is it that you get? Well, the answer is, from this point forward, every user that logs on to the website, unless otherwise configured, will get a multi-factor authentication challenge. The token itself will be sent either to the email address that they've put into Active Directory or via the SMTP address for their pager attribute. Now, for most organizations, email attributes have already been set up. 
So in effect, once this is configured, everybody who logs on to ERPM will be able to use multi-factor authentication without any further configuration. So this means no ongoing token management logistics, no hardware tokens, no software tokens, um, no seed management. Now the other thing that's great about this is that, well, this is free. The Oath technology is an open standard. The technology is already built into ERPM. And so if you're currently using 4.83.2 or later, you get this capability at no cost. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to use this type of delivery mechanism for all of your users. You can still use hardware and software tokens in addition to virtual tokens. The way the software is set up is that if a user already has a software token or a hardware token already assigned to them, a virtual token won't be created for them. The other nice thing about this is that the configuration of virtual tokens takes five minutes or less to complete and to roll out. So the end of all of this is that there are no per token cost and it's free tokens for everyone, except for those that you want to have software or hardware tokens. So let's go ahead and demo how this is done. Each web instance of ERPM must be enabled for Oath authentication. This is done by clicking on Manage Web App, selecting the instance, selecting Change Web App, confirming the overwrite, going to the Security tab, and then enabling Oath Token Checks for web application logins based on permissions. Click OK, and we're ready. Each user, or the group that it belongs to, has to be enabled for Oath Authentication. This is done by going to Delegation, Web Application Global Delegation Rules, finding the identity that needs the Oath requirement, clicking on Require Oath, applying the permission, and then selecting OK. Now that the users, groups, and website are configured for Oath authentication, we're ready to set up the virtual tokens. We'll do this by going to Delegations, Token Configuration. Next, we'll go to the Global Token Options menu select options and now we're going to change the way that tokens are automatically generated first we're going to set the new token IDs to be generated as randomly generated GUID IDs next we're going to set the default token type to be an 8 digit TOTP this will guarantee that tokens expire or change regularly Last, we'll go ahead and select the delivery mechanism to send the token codes via email based on the email field in Active Directory. Notice that there are no tokens to start. These will be generated when users log into the website. The login sequence hasn't changed. We simply put in the username and the password, hit login, and now the virtual token is created and the token code is being sent via email, and there it is. If we look at the email, we'll see in the email is a token code. We'll go ahead and copy that out, and then paste it into the passcode field, and hit login. Notice that we're logged on to the website as usual. If we now go back to ERPM and take a look at our token configuration screen, you notice that there is a newly and auto-created token. If we look at this token, we'll see that the token ID is not an eight-digit number, but in fact a long string of digits known as a GUID. Also notice that the token key, or seed, has been automatically generated. With regard to the token assignment properties, it's been auto-assigned to a specific user, and a comment has been generated indicating that this particular token or virtual token has been auto-created. Also notice that the email address that the token code is to be sent to has also been automatically filled in. In summary, what you've seen is that virtual tokens allow your users to get multi-factor authentication using either email or SMS real-time token code delivery. Setup only takes minutes, and the ongoing token creation, assignment, and token code shipping is done automatically using Active Directory. Best of all, this is a free, built-in feature of ERPM 4.83.2 and later versions. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via email at support at leapsoft.com or contact us by phone at 310-550-8575. Thanks for watching.